We're standing outside the Blue Room in the cross hall on the state floor of the White House. The Blue Room is a main receiving room for the House and often a place where the President might stand and greet key guests before coming through the door behind me and turning to go down to the East Room for a major uh, speech or an award ceremony or bill signing. When he comes through that doorway, he passes under the modern version of the seal of the President of the United States, uh, which is, was officially defined uh, by President Harry Truman in 1945 to include the coat of arms of the President, which is the eagle based on the great seal of the United States. It has a ring of stars around it, and then it has the words seal of the President of the United States. That makes it officially a seal. Now the eagle was changed at that time to not face the arrows that represented war, but to face the olive branches in the opposite talon of the eagle, which represents peace, at a time when they were creating the Defense Department to replace the former War Department and Navy Departments as a, a official cabinet offices. We have an earlier version of the presidential seal above the door to the diplomatic reception room, made in bronze. It was originally embedded in the floor in the entrance hall, and then it was moved during the Truman renovation uh, from 1948 to 52 and placed here in the wall. And you can see with this particular seal, the eagle faces the arrows of war in its proper left talon, uh, and uh, that was what was changed in 1945. This is the same version of the seal that one would see on the famous Resolute desk that the President is using in the Oval Office, a desk that was given to President Hayes by Queen Victoria in 1880, and then Franklin Roosevelt requested a panel be inserted in the knee hole to cover the fact that he was sitting at the desk in a wheelchair. And so it has this pre-1945 version of the presidential seal with the eagle facing towards the arrows rather than towards the olive branches.